February 8th, 2022, Decret celebrated its sixth birthday. That's six years of running non-stop and six years of live innovation happening directly on their network in real time. In this video, we'll look at how Decred has pushed the boundaries of what is possible and how it's taken a direction that no other cryptocurrency has been able to follow. To understand why Decred, we need to look at the basic premise for sound money alongside the colossal one-sidedness of the current financial system. Over the past 10 years, it's been said many times that digital currencies with a maximum supply offer us the biggest opportunity to break this negative cycle. But it's also clear that we can't have more of the same. Decred has picked up the mantle for peer-to-peer -peer money and seen a need to include interoperability in the form of peer-to-peer -peer exchange. Money should not be restrictive, money should not be confiscatable and money should be exchanged freely without the need for a middleman or third-party fee. Sound money must be permissionless, peer-to-peer, -peer, secure, private, with a transparent coin supply. So let's follow the Decred path to see where it all began and where we're headed. Decred traces its origins back to April 2013 when a pseudonymous developer named Taco Time responded to a thread on Bitcoin Talk stating they had been thinking up a new cryptocurrency. Shortly thereafter, following a promise to share a technical specification of the idea, Taco Time started a new thread publishing a white paper titled Memcoin 2 MC2 a proof-of-work, proof-of-stake cryptocurrency. The proposal extended and combined the principles of both Litecoin and Peercoin and was developed using BTCD, the platform created by Decred's first development team, Company Zero. December 15th, 2015, Decred was announced to the world. After witnessing a contentious nature of centralized development and a rough consensus system, that made the miners the final say in all upgrades. The Decred founders, Company Zero, Taco Time, Insoc began work. The proposal was for an open source, progressive and self-funding cryptocurrency with a system of community-based governance integrated into its blockchain. At the core of the project was a hybrid proof of stake, proof of work consensus system that aimed at striking a balance between proof of work miners and proof of stake voters to create a more robust notion of consensus. February 8th, 2016, Decred's mainnet was launched along with its initial stake pool and the Decred Constitution, which is a set of principles and guidelines that provide users a clear understanding of the social contract between themselves and the project. At launch, 8% of the total supply was pre-mined, with 4% used to compensate the developers and 4% airdrop to 2,972 people. On February 21st, 2016, the first proof of stake votes got included in block 4096. This was a monumental moment and an all time first. Votes getting added to the blockchain demonstrated that DCR coin holders were actively staking their coins and validating the mined blocks for consistency with the rules. This process adds a new dimension to the security of a blockchain, and along with Decred's built in chain lock rule of five blocks, this new consensus method improves the original proof-of-work design by a magnitude of factors. In later years, pure proof-of-work projects would quickly come to realize the importance of these two elements, as many of them would suffer from a variety of attacks caused by malicious miners. December 26, 2016 was the first release of Decrediton, a GUR wallet for both Linux and Mac OS. Decred has a habit of building everything in-house this makes sure that all improvements and developments have to go through the processes and high expectation of the governance system. The Decrediton wallet has been a best-in-class wallet in the cryptocurrency space for many years. This is due to its security features, functionality and ease of use. The underlying principles here are that Decrediton should be the gateway and interface to the project and protocol. If Decred can do it, you will find it in the Decrediton wallet. June 14. 2017, DCR Time was released. This is a free service and method of timestamping information on the blockchain to show information existed at a certain point in time. DCR Time was originally built to store timestamped hashes of the data for Politea, Decred's proposal system. But we've also seen it used by designers and content creators to prove they're the owners of their work. DCR Time allows a nearly unlimited number of hashes to be timestamped 
and recalled on the Decred blockchain. For instance, this piece of writing was timestamped to demonstrate who wrote the original and when it was written. To verify this, enter the hash or upload the document. As the output hash will be the same, the system will reject your version. If you change the document in any way, it will be included, but your hash will show a later date demonstrating you are not the owner. In the future, I can see this system being used for all kinds of things, including patenting ideas without the need for a trusted third party. July 9th, 2017, Decred held the first consensus vote in the history of cryptocurrency. The consensus vote changed Decred's stake difficulty algorithm. Decred is the first blockchain to successfully implement a consensus or rule change without causing a chain split or hard fork, making it also the first blockchain to become a fork resistant. In later months, and for test purposes only, Marco Pirabon coded a consensus change that could update the block size for Decred if necessary. Although this was never used, it does demonstrate that if Decred ever had a block size debate like that of Bitcoin in 2017, the stakeholders would be able to vote on whether to implement it or not. This would be completed without a destructive fuss or manipulation, which is seen and drawn out during the Bitcoin Cash hard fork. October 6, 2017, the initial release of DCR Data, Decred's homegrown block explorer and on-chain data toolset. DCR Data has remained the best place to find out how the Decred blockchain is performing. There is no need to resort to third-party applications. All data provided from DCR Data is harvested directly from what's happening on-chain. Decred has a transparent nature and as such, make sure that the data produced is as easy to read as possible with a clean interface and unprecedented information and charts. DCR data remains true to these principles. October 19th, 2017, Decred developed Atomic Swaps, a tool that will allow blockchains to interact with each other without needing a trusted centralized third party to hold the coins whilst the exchange takes place. The first implementation of this tool demonstrated a peerless exchange between Decred and Litecoin. The tool also supported Decred to Bitcoin exchange. Atomic Swaps is paving the way for a system of interoperable peer-to-peer -peer exchange, which is likely to be unparalleled by any other protocol. The holy grail for cryptocurrency will be achieving a peer-to-peer -peer exchange and removing the need for centralized exchanges and trusted third-party fee takers. September 21st, 2018, the initial SPV release for DCR Wallet the simple payment verification mode allows the use of a Decred wallet without having to download the entire Decred blockchain, currently 7.5 gigabytes. This is perfect for improving the user experience whilst keeping the download to a minimum. This is especially useful for mobile wallets. October 15, 2018, Politea goes live on mainnet. With the development of Politea, Decred's governance system is now possible for the community to submit, review and vote on proposals that steer the direction of the project. The release of Politea along with the Decred Treasury has paved the way for Decred to become a new kind of organisation, the DAO. A decentralised autonomous organisation is a self-funding, self-governing, systemised approach to achieving goals, where no individual or leader has access to treasury spending and the treasury amount is finite. In Decred's case, this is just 2.1 million DCR. Instead, a proposal must be submitted to Politea and voted on by the Decred stakeholders, which are those that hold the DCR coin. If the proposal passes, the person doing the work submits invoices for the work completed, then receives their funds if all conditions have been satisfied. Over the years, Politea has proven itself to be a truly groundbreaking project that has no equals and adds a massive amount of value to the Decred project. At this point, we've only witnessed three years of development, and in this time, Decred has pushed more successful first and contentious innovations than any other project in the space. But let's just reflect on what this includes. So firstly, the first hybrid system for proof of work and proof of stake. The first system to have on-chain voting and block validation for miners' work. One of the first to include a decentralized chain locking system that prevents deep reorgs of the blockchain data. The first on-chain consensus vote by coin holders. One of the first to fully develop a formal governance system to vote on development and marketing proposals. 
One of the first layer one projects to work towards becoming a decentralized autonomous organization at DAO, the first system to timestamp all governance information on the blockchain for future reference and investigation, the first peer-to-peer -peer exchange using Atomic Swaps, a system Decred built, built-in SPV mode to streamline the setup of a Decred wallet, and finally, the first project to be self-funded using its own coin as a payment system. If this is what happened in the first three years, imagine what the lead up to six has to offer. The development continues. Join us in part two, where we explore the next phase of Decred's development cycle.